All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Market Prep. I hope you're having an amazing morning, and hopefully, you guys had an incredible day yesterday. Good morning, Peter. How are you doing today? Good morning, Carlos. <laughs> I'm doing good. All right. Just uh, a, a gif here that uh, Stoyan posted through me for a loop for a second. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yes, I'm doing good. You know, holidays are still upon us. The markets are showing that with their decreased volume and weird price moves, as we saw yesterday afternoon. Other than that, not much happening. Other than some economic numbers, we could jump right into that if you want. Uh, yeah, let's do it. We did have some uh, numbers come out at 8.30, starting with the initial jobless claims. Uh, so the market, you know, seems to be given stuff to be happy about, I guess, on the whole. Uh, initial jobless claims are up slightly, 218,000 versus 210,000 forecasted, which is in turn up from the 206 thousand that was reported in the last period retail and wholesale inventories are both down uh from last reported period which uh, uh i guess is good that means people are buying stuff and it's not going into the uh, inventory um and then the trade of good balance is actually well that's maybe the one downside uh negative 88 billion was the estimate that came in negative 90 billion but again it shows that americans are buying things as the Im needed to import more than it was exported. So uh, continuing jobless claims, by the way, right on target. So overall, you know, marginally good news for the markets. We saw initial pop up, now we're seeing a move back. The only other number coming out today is the pending home sales uh, that'll be out at 10 o'clock, but you know, don't expect the market to really pay much attention to it. Uh, as we've been seeing all week, well, all week being the last two days in this shortened week, um, you know, the lower volumes have brought sort of lethargic markets for the most part with weird periods of, of movement on no volume. So exactly sort of as expected, more or less what we've been telling you to be careful of. Uh, while there have been trading opportunities, uh, they haven't been easy. So uh, let's see what we can get today. Maybe, maybe things will be a little bit better. I'm not sure. Let's find the areas of brightness by looking at our gappers list and going from there. Yep, absolutely. Let's see what our gappers list has for us this morning. Right now, we got some stocks in the green, some in the red. Um, some names we're familiar with, JD, we, we see on here, Billy Lee, and then we have Mara. Uh, and uh, and I don't see the rest of the Bitcoin stuff, but we got some Bitcoin stuff on here that uh, is in the red this morning. So we'll dive into this again. Just quickly looking at these ticker names, I'm not a big fan. I can already tell there's not going to be a lot here that looks great. Similar to what we've been seeing all week, these weird tickers coming out that normally uh, don't trade very well. So, but let's go through them and see what we have. Uh, let's start with the first one on here is going to be, let's get our screen uh, and let's go ahead and control A, control X. It's gonna really clean up our watch list. Let's start with the first one, Z -I -C -I -N -G. C -I -N -G. so what we have here, this is up 175, is that correct? It is, just gotta get the, the, the mm -hmm. bottom chart to be here. All right, 175 percent, 3.7 million shares traded. It is a flow of 300,000. What I'm seeing here, so very, very light flow. Um, Peter, any news uh, driving this right. madness? I'm seeing a slightly larger float, but it's still small at uh, 12 million. But either way, uh, Singulate, another biotech, and as we've been seeing all week, the only things that have been moving are these biotech stocks. Uh, I don't really know why I, I don't see any particular news on it why this thing is up so significantly close of four dollars i mean over the last two days it's been moving if you look on the daily chart it was close it was two dollars you know two days ago yesterday it was up to four today it's up to well 17 earlier 10 now so i don't know this feels like somebody's just uh you know some somebody's playing some games trying to get some value as they get out of this thing which you know, last I see is reported uh, they were looking at bankruptcy filings. 
Um, I, you know, their, their, their drugs were not doing well. They were trying secondary offerings back in September to stave off bankruptcy. What's happening now? I, I don't know. Maybe they got some inside deal that uh, hasn't yet hit the news, but, uh, doesn't look, I mean, it, it looks okay. Pre-market I, I'll admit, but, uh, ugh, high risk, high risk. Yeah. Extremely high risk guys. We're going to throw this down into our, our risky pile here. Um, it'll be more for entertaining purposes. I mean, it is up 163%. and percent. We'll love to see where this goes. Looks like it's starting to crash down a little bit here. Um, again, entertainment purposes for sure. Let's take a look at SQM. Uh, SQM this morning up 6%. This looks brutal. No volume. Um, uh, what is this? Society. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, looks looks foreign see a dad quimus it maybe it was a chilean chilean company okay okay there we go so yeah so we need our spanish here. speakers to tell us what's going on here right? yeah yeah that that is that's not gonna work out all right let's 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 move on um that looks yeah. horrible no volume let's look at lead this i mean they have some news which is yeah. why they hit the uh hit the radar they have uh an mou uh memorandum of understanding with cadelco which is one of the big players in this space uh, but not, yeah, not, not tradable. I tend to avoid this sector, especially foreign stocks altogether. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're just brutal. Um, uh, there's, I am quiet and uh, Peter is loud. Uh, I don't, I don't know. This volumes looks good over here. Maybe because I have my, my mic a little bit lower. Um, we could bring it up. I'm just bring always loud. Up. Yeah. That, that's just Peter's natural, uh, way of being. Just me. Uh, I, yeah. I can turn things <laughs> down here a little bit. Um, we'll make sure the gains are good to go. Okay. There it is. Uh, perfect. Volume is okay. 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 All right. Good. All right. Let's, uh, Lee guys up here, 3.7, not much to see 145,000 shares traded, no volume. I don't think this is really in play. Let's look at Billy. I see Billy's up slightly here. So maybe overall Chinese beta, um, or news giving them a little pop this morning. JD, same thing, slightly up, no volume. Um, again, I see food to, I see XPF. Is there any or anything overall uh, Chinese related Chinese data um, that's got these guys up a little bit? Well, the news over the last week in China has really been about these gaming restrictions they put on. And then that list of uh, games that they were sort of authorizing for play that I guess they were not going to be so strict on. Um, I, I don't, you know, China, the, the, the news unless there's other news in China that I haven't seen that that's really, a, I assume we're just sort of continuing with, you know, that easing of restrictions has got them going, uh, moving a little bit in absence of anything else, right? Maybe money was uh, deciding to move there. Um, I don't know. I mean, there was some weird news on Alibaba on, on you know, Baba B A B A about, uh, <clears throat> some lawsuit. <laughs> Anyways, some law food lawsuit over counterfeit, Squish mellows. Does anybody know what a squish mellow is? I, I yes. assume this is a toy. Of, oh, a toy ab of <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I mean, oh. I should already be like a long term investor on that damn thing, man. My 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 they, daughter, it's has to the room. The, the, there's no space in the bed with these squish mellows. It is oh, insane. So these are like I, I'm looking at pictures now. So they seem to be stuffed animals. These are the latest, like. Uh, what were the ones when uh, we were young there, uh, Carlos? The, uh, the ones everybody thought they would collect forever and uh, make their fortune off of the, not like, the Cabbage like, Patch Kids. I wasn't going back that far. The, the Beanie Babies, that's what I was thinking of. Beanie Babies, <laughs> yes, yes, Beanie yes. Babies. Anyway, oh, uh, well. So, anyways, a U.S. toy maker is suing the Chinese, a few Chinese companies, including Alibaba, over fake Squishmallows. All I can say is, Good luck. Auto, everything from auto manufacturers to heavy engineering to electronics companies have tried to sue in China. And uh, generally, they don't get work. any satisfaction. Yeah. The Chinese government just says, too bad, right? You publicly produced it. They were able to recreate it. You know, your patent's not valid here. If you so. win something like that in China, their whole economic will fall apart. I mean, you, you can't win a case like that because they will use it for something else. It just never will happen. I mean, yeah. guys. Just look at the stuff that comes from over there. Everything, whatever you possibly have that's real, you can get replicated from China. Everything, even cars. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're not winning that. Um, let's go over here, guys. That is Baba. Again, that's not, look, it's actually gapping up. It's good news for them that they don't care. Um, <laughs> so 
Uh, Xbev is on here. I don't think they're, these guys are really in play, guys. Just slightly up this yeah. morning, but just not much really happening. Really, really. And yep. NTNS has been moving the last few days. I notice it's back on the list again today. This is like a third day play, a fourth day play at this point. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's getting less and less interesting as the days go by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at it here. Volume continues to be a little bit low yesterday. Um, let's get the right uh, five minute chart. Yesterday, how did it trade? I know so many people, some people have it in their had it in their charts, uh, and it looked brutal. Yeah, so I think the fun is over on this, guys. Um, it will be very tough to get something going here. Volume even less than yesterday in the pre market now, so uh, not looking great. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Again, I knew this list was gonna be so bad already. Uh, nothing really to see here. That's the gap up list. Let's see. Let's see the gap down. We got some tickers here as well that I probably never heard of. P R O F. Profound medical uh, something, uh, and they are down 9.8, 150,000 shares trade. Again, just no volume, no volume whatsoever. And the daily just looks uh, uh, just brutal. I, I don't like anything I'm seeing here. So um, garbage can for this one. Um, let's take a look at what's next here. We have HUT and we have Mara. We have some bit uh, Bitcoin stuff on here. So HUT 8 is down 5.3. Let's see what Mara is up to. That has been the one that's been getting the volume. Has not been trading exceptionally clean, but uh, they've been getting the volume. Oh, this morning. Um, oh, down 4.8. Yeah. Uh, and 5.9 yeah. million shares traded. Okay. That looks Bit good. Bitcoin prices have been uh, stuck in a range, but but moving up and down in this range. Um, as was pointed out to me yesterday, if you look at uh, Mara and Coin and uh, I mean, look at the daily, they, they've really been going parabolic over the last little while. I sort of, somebody mentioned yeah. that in the room yesterday afternoon, and I was looking at Coin over, only over the month of December. And if you just zoom sort of out uh, or in maybe, I guess, to Coin just for the month of December, you're like, ah, it's not that, not that high. But uh, then, then when you zoom out, like Carlos is at now, you're like, wow, that is quite a run up, really. When you when yeah. you look at it from 60, yeah. 70 bucks to 180, you know, it's tripling. So uh, we've got to, uh, yeah, keep in mind they they've been on a big run. So a pullback is almost inevitable. But uh, especially being that they've been running faster than the price of the underlying assets that they've generally been tied to. So uh, you know, Bitcoin prices have have certainly gone up. Uh, as well, but not as much as Coin or Mara as stocks. So, um, you know, yeah. again, interesting. Whether that doesn't necessarily make them in play this week, right? Because again, lower volumes just is making everything a little bit, a little bit tougher, a little bit more sketchy to try and get good trade opportunities yeah. out of. Yeah. Even even yesterday, Coin had this beautiful run, and if you would look at the price action, it was a very weird light volume price action. It, it was hard to take a trade on this. Mara was a little bit better because Mara does get better uh, prices. But I see as coins prices keeps going higher and higher, man, their price action uh, is just getting very, very weird. So Mara was a little bit cleaner as far as volume on the price. But coin, even with that great move, man, the, the price action was tough to trade. Um, I, I didn't trust it. But yeah, they, we, we got some good action on them today. So a little bit of a pullback that hopefully that can translate into some good trading for us today. So I'm going to add Mara has a way better pre-market activity. Um, coin would do as a secondary, although I didn't really like the price action on it yesterday. I think it could it could be much much better. It was a little, not, it wasn't the spread wasn't big, but it was acting like it had a big spread. I guess just because of the lack of volume. Um, so there we go. Let's we'll look at both of these for now. And we'll see what's happening there. Uh, next one on the list is H I V E. I think we saw this yesterday. I didn't keep it on my list. What did it no, do? Yeah. Oh. Uh, this, this this is why we didn't keep it on the list. It was brutal, and I'm glad I didn't have it. Um, this is more garbage here, guys. It's just again nothing to see here uh, uh, this morning. All right, um, SDIG. Let's see what else is on here. SDI, SDIG. Nope, no nope. garbage truck for you as well. A lot of garbage trucks today this morning on this gappers list, both up and down. Mm. Let's look. <laughs> let's look at CIFR. See what we have going on here. Um, yeah, just nothing. Down 3.2. This is Cypher Mining, maybe another Bitcoin time type ticker. Yeah, a lot market. of these secondary Bitcoin yeah. miners seem to be popping up and down off of both sides of the list. Hive and Cypher and things like that. So HUT. Um, so, you know, it's uh, interesting. But again, it's really just, it's almost like, 
a, when a, when a void happens in the actual market activity, here, here come these things again. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, again, if you like them by all means, pay attention, but just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll stop here, guys. This is our list so far, Mara coin, and we have uh, entertainment purposes. I know we'll, we'll pick up some of our usual suspects and see what's happening there. Peter, what, what do you like this morning on your list, if anything? Well, I, I want to reinforce what I've been telling uh, you guys all week about, you know, there are trading opportunities, but you got to be careful with it. Now, let's take a look at three stocks just to illustrate the point. And these are three ones that we watch all the time. Let's start with Tesla. And, and Carlos, if you could just let, let's show the chart for the entire day test uh, yesterday. Sorry. Um, and if we look at Tesla, Tesla, the move was on the open, right? The only move of worth of the day, in my opinion, was right at the open. Great move off the open, really charged up. You know, that was great if you're watching it. A little bit after that, we moved to Apple. Apple was terrible at the open. Right, really didn't move very well at all. But if you if you were patient, waited to see what it was telling you that it was definitely not able to push higher, and then took it short as Paris did, for example, you were able to get a great move down to the low of the day uh, later in the morning. Then if we look at something like AMD that I like to watch, you know AMD was terrible throughout both of those periods. Right, I mean look at how choppy and bad that is. But again, if you waited for pace, uh, if you showed some patience, waited for it to sort of show a little bit of strength and move up past uh, you know, the levels that it had set at the open, you could have just ridden it long for the rest of the day. So you know, we're really seeing that there are some trade opportunities, but they're not all happening at the same time. And uh, they're not all happening in the exact same way. So you know, I'll continue to uh, urge caution in your trading. You know, if you find an opportunity, by all means, jump into it. Make sure you understand what you're trying to accomplish, how you're going to go about it, have that risk plan in place for every single trade so you don't get yourself stuck so those are three that i'd watch again today just because they were moving yesterday with you know reasonable volume i guess in a, in a day where the volumes overall were again pretty low yep i agree 100 percent with that guy so amd tesla uh and apple you know again just usual suspects there's really nothing else going on that is great and these guys can't get the volume um, and as Peter mentioned, just be patient. So I'm adding these three on here. AMD, Tesla, and Apple. Uh, nothing else is coming off this list that I really like for today's trading. Um, let's take it to you guys this morning. What do you guys like so far? Uh, you took an Apple short. Nice, Steve, uh, from the, the garden. Is that New Jersey Gardens or what, what garden are you, are you from? We got we to gotta <laughs> specify this. All right, um, Jesse, let's take a look at PayPal. Hmm? Go ahead. Like the garden, like Eden? It, it, yeah, we we, I, we gotta we gotta clear this up. I, this is a. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the Bible. I don't remember a Steve there, but I mean it's possible that it was Adam, Eve, and Steve. Maybe, maybe hey, maybe. yeah, it could, could have been possible. <laughs> I know some of my friends. Maybe that's, Adam that's the way Steve, the story goes. Yeah, it's <laughs> a whole, whole different story there. They just got it wrong. They forgot the st at the beginning. Maybe they thought it was Saint Eve. It was not Adam and Eve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too uh, much. Oh, too much. All right. Sorry. No, no, it's, it's, it's not too much. But if it is too much, email Peter. Don't email me about this. Uh, email <laughs> Peter. All right. Peter at bearabletrace.com. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you email that's me. Right. I'm going to delete it. So email Peter right. and, and we'll be fine. All right. Send it all back to me. Absolutely. <laughs> here's here's where I usually, well, when, me, when me and Norm used to get into something that was spicy like this, I would normally just throw up Norm's picture with the with the uh, big plate of burger saying something with something funny about vegans. And it would just take yeah. all the heat off of me and it'll put it right on him. <laughs> and it, was, it, was, it, was, it was amazing. I need, I need something to blackmail you with. So take, just put it up here and say, hey, no, here's Peter. Well, <laughs> it's not like all over right. the years I haven't given you enough uh, fodder. So, you, you know, you nah, pick whatever no, you, you want. You, you've been great, my friend. All right, let's take a look here. PayPal, not much going on. There's just no action on it right now. I see what you're looking at, possible breakout on the daily. But we got so much that's possibly breaking out. It's just all about can it get the volume today, right? Volume just keeps dying down. Look at this week, right? It's a little bit less than what we've seen over the last couple of days. Even on days where they're not in play, they've seen more volume. It's just the type of week that it is. So a lot of patience, guys, uh, on PayPal. Uh, who was it? They gave me another one, too. I lost the name as we were diverted to uh, other uh, commentary. Let's see here. Um, CVNA, Carvana, CVNA. Let's take a look what's happening here. Um, 
no, same thing, man. Just this really no action on it. It's not really in play at the moment. So you gotta wait for the market open to see what happens here. But for the most part, not in play. Had a couple of days where we had some good stuff happening here, right? It was really in play, got some good volume, and then it's just kind of died down now for for the last couple of days at least. Um Yeah, and the, and the, you know, the general market news here in the auto industry is that uh um new inventories have declined which means there's there's more buyers but used car prices are still dropping so uh, that's not always good for carvana if you remember they had to take a big write down a couple of years ago as they were holding a lot of inventory that they'd overpaid for um so you know if, if uh used car prices continue to decline that could be a problem for them going forward but there's nothing specific on carvana at that at this point uh yeah absolutely um michael is saying i'll just email andrew uh, you could but i'll tell you what happens with those emails peter <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, peter read below <laughs> yeah. uh you know and, and respond so don't do that <laughs> no i know you're michael, i know you're welcome to but i'll yeah. tell you where those end up <laughs> yeah and if you email him, tell him, don't share this with the team. Team, look at this. Let's let's try to make this better. So, yeah, <laughs> just letting you know. All right, guys. Um, so there it is. Uh, not much going on here. We'll look at YouTube. YouTube, you guys have something fun here going on that we could look at? Um, no, no, it's just good mornings and some laughter. Okay, that's good. But no tickets for us to look at. How about over here, Ali, you're giving us GP. What is this? GPOR. What is that? GPOR, Gulfport Energy. Oh, no, 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 no. This is no, no good. There's really no, nothing no, happening no, no. here. And the volume is just atrocious, man. So, yeah, I don't don't see anything happening good there. Um, a lot of dumpster stuff today. Let me see. Just checking before we get to announcements. If we miss anything or anyone, doesn't look like we did. Guys, yeah, very, very light morning. We got Mara and a couple of possibles that, uh, you know, are on our usual suspects list. And we have coin down here and entertainment purposes with uh, Zing. Uh, today. One I just saw pop up on the list here, just for, for interest, FWBI. Remember, this was on our list yesterday. Uh, it was up, I can't remember, like 180%, 200%, something which, like that. Pre-market. Which one? FWBI. FWBI. Okay. Yeah, they were selling a product you can see pre-market is when they sort of hit the peak they were popping up to 13 14 dollars as we were watching them in the open uh and then uh yeah that's after hours there but uh and then they just they just crashed yesterday during the market day Man. so Ouch. uh yeah there you go there's the pre-market again it was looking great pre-market look what happened the second the market opened right just started to sell off got halted you can see there in the gaps quite a number of times both right at the open and then later uh, in the day. And yeah, it was just horrible. So be careful if you want to play any of these fun ones, right? If like CING, you know, looks good right now, the market could open and this thing could just become horrible. So just be careful. Don't get yourself stuck in, in these, uh, you know, make yeah. sure you have, like I said, a risk plan in place. That is such a brutal drop, by the way. I mean, just look at it. You're, you're, if you're stuck here, this is 1238. And you're opening all the way down to almost a buck uh, over around 1130. And if you're able to get out right away, who knows? You could have had slippage to like 1042. Ah, that is brutal, brutal, brutal. So again, yeah. th th when we say entertainment purposes for these, that's exactly uh, what we mean uh, on these tickets. Be very, very careful. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, Brian was calling it that. Brian was calling it something very funny here. Okay, um, Baba. Yeah, we looked at Baba. It's not really in play, uh, Maroon, over on YouTube. I mean, there's really not much happening. There's a couple of tickers, uh, Chinese tickers on our Gap Up list. I mean, a bunch, actually. JD, Billy, um, Lee, Futu, XBev. I think Jake, even JKS is a Chinese ticker, I believe. Um, but again, it's just slightly up. There's, they're really not showing anything uh, heavily in play. But you know what? To kind of watch the, this overall market, if anything is going to happen, Baba is the best choice. Um, you know, they got 532,000 shares traded. We know they can trade well. I like their daily. They broke out of 76. They just ha are not getting the volume to really be explosive, right? But if there's anything that's going to run in the Chinese sector, this could be nice. Baba could be nice. We'll add that to the list for now. All right, perfect, friends. Let's get over to our community events and announcements. We'll see if anything else pops up. We'll be looking at scanners um and we'll see if there's anything else that we can take advantage of but in the meantime today is 
today is Wednesday. No, say it's Thursday. 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 It's gonna, it's gonna Feels Thursday. like a Wednesday. Yeah. I mean, yes. you're you're sort of right. It's the third trading day of the week, but it is a Thursday. So as we edge ever closer to 2024, the end of this trading year coming Friday, which is tomorrow. So we only have two more trading days in this calendar year. Uh, we have confirmed that all of our mentorship sessions are happening. So everybody's on board for today. Thursday is all about mentorship. So John will be doing a session at 11. Jared and Megan are both there for the options conversation at uh, 2 o'clock. And then at 8 p.m. tonight, Thor will be doing his regular mentorship session on Thor's day. So uh, don't miss any of those three or, or attend all. It's uh, They're great information sessions. And if you've got questions especially, great place to get them answered. Uh, the one Paris's session that normally happens on Sunday, keep in mind that for the second week, it will not be happening this week. He's taking the time off, spend it with family, which is fully reasonable. We wish him all the best in, in that, in this time. Uh, but And he'll be back in 2024 with that Sunday session once again. But for today, 11, 2, and 8, all happening. Um, we always remind you, TradingTerminal.com is a great place to go get information on stocks, whether you do it on your phone or you use it on your, your PC, your tablet, your laptop, wherever you may go, look at TradingTerminal.com. It's got information on the markets, news, uh, the scanners. It's got the academy with uh, courses. In fact, a lot of the bearable traders material, uh, frankly, some of the older material gets moved there. So if you want to see some of our older webinars that are just available um, uh, for free in the academy. Check those out. Um, they're they're in there. So uh, and well worth checking out as well as of course throughout the day, especially a day like today when we don't see a lot moving. You might want to keep your eye on the scanners. It'll uh, alert you when something interesting is happening with a uh, stock. So Carlos has got the standard ones out of the box, but they are fully customizable, and you can uh, set them up however you like if you wish. Uh, if you want to join us at Bearable Traders, we love having new members join us. You can use the basic or elite monthly packages. The best deal always is the elite annual, especially right now with our Hello 2024 deal going. Use the code Hello 2024 to get that discounted rate off of the annual price. It is a pay one time fee and then you're good for the entire year 2024. Um, and you won't have to worry about it until 2025, which sounds like it's really, really far away. But uh can't believe here we are almost there um and but if you want to just uh you know dip your toe in the water not commit so much use the intro offer it's 39 dollars if you go to our website and it's only 24 if you use the code pre-market 24 available only to those watching here in the pre-market show with us this morning like every morning do us a favor if you're watching on youtube give us a thumbs up uh, the, the likes are very helpful uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll always know when we're going live. And uh, hopefully you'll be joining us, you know, through next year. All right, we'll set levels on a few of the things that are out there. We'll get ready for the market open. It's, uh, you know, it's another sort of quiet one. We, we'll have to pick our targets, see what we can find out there. Ain't going to be sure. easy. Yeah, what we sure do. We sure do. Jam over on YouTube was saying, you know, a lot of day traders are losing money now. Yes, if you don't know when to, you know, get your foot off the gas. Um, mm. Well, I got to. I guess I should say accelerator because some people are driving electric now. Um, <laughs> off the accelerator. Uh, yeah, you can get into some tough situation. This is not the time to be aggressive, right? More to be patient. And when the aggressive time comes, then you start, you know, really pushing uh, uh, things down here. So. I want to look at yeah. a firm. Yeah, go ahead, Peter. I uh, just, you know, I want to reinforce that point because it, it's sort of what we've been hammering all week here. And this is why we've been saying it, right? That, yeah, that some traders are losing money if you haven't modified your approach. Or at the very least, you know, like we said, strong risk management. Why do we keep focusing on this? Why do I keep mentioning it? It's because, you know, that will help you understand. This may not be the risk profile that you want to trade. And you may look and say, I, I just, I can't find anything. There's been a lot of our members in the room. I do a survey every day um, and see how many people are trading and who's not. The number of people that are just watching um, has more than doubled over the last uh, week or so. And that is good. That's good on them. That's smart trading. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to pull yourself out of the game and say, this is just not a market that works for my strategy or I'm not comfortable. I'll wait, right? The volume will come back. It always does. Don't force anything. Better to like be at zero or break even 
than to be negative anything, right? Why put yourself in the hole if if you don't have to? So you know, don't be shy about sitting back. Now, when there is an opportunity, you got to be ready to you know to swing the bat, if you will. But um, but make sure it's one that meets your your strategy criteria. All right, enough said. I'll yeah, Carlos absolutely. Do no, Mara's no, dropping perfect. right now. Perfect. Um, oh, we'll look at it now. Down 7%. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at two here that were brought up. Uh, actually, three. We'll look at this. The disc not doing a whole lot right now. It's been dropping over the last couple of days. Very, very light volume. I see how it looks in the daily. It could be interesting. The other one was CLSK. Normally, I don't like Clean Spark, um, but they got a lot of volume today. Two million shares traded. Uh, they are down 6%. So I got to say, they could be interesting today. Um, we'll put them on the list here. CLSK. So thank you, Stefan, over on YouTube. And then there was one more that was mentioned by Michael in our chat and also uh, on our YouTube chat. I forget the name here, but also was mentioned on our YouTube chat. I forget by who. But either way, oh, there it is. Kawasaki, our good buddy. Um, we are down 1.6 on this one. Volume is starting to pick up. Yeah, this also looks somewhat interesting, especially on the daily. Um, this one is tough, though. For me, I find it uh, slightly difficult to trade. I'm going to put it on a possible here. If we have time, which I think we will, because only 903, we'll do levels for these two, especially CLSK. I might move that one up. That volume does look great on a day mm -hmm. where there's not a whole lot happening. Does, um, I actually never traded this one. Um, does it have you, Peter? Does it trade well? No, I, have, I haven't no? traded it. So. Okay. Yeah, I haven't traded it. I haven't read, so I haven't really looked at it closely as far as the price action. Um, look at this dead chart from yesterday. It doesn't look all that great. But we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, uh, let's get some levels in. We'll start with Mara. So Mara, right now we're getting some uh, some uh, downwards action, down seven percent, six point eight million shares traded right now. So we got the volume. This is looking rather nice today. So low of the pre market slamming into yesterday's low. You can see that there. You can see that here. The low is just a little bit below that, but we're not going to worry about that. We'll wait to see if we can make a new low based on what's happening here. We got uh, some action, some big, big bids coming in to a 2880 looking to drop this thing. So well, let's see what happens. All right. Within the pre-market itself, I do like this level 2978. So I'm going to slam a level there. Um, that looks uh, good. As you can see, we had a little bit of resistance happening there. We had support on this yesterday throughout the day. Again, Mara and Coin traded very well yesterday. Mara a little bit better on the price action um, than Coin. So you can see that there we got some action happening there today could be important. Towards the top, we do have our previous day close and we're also going to mark down our high of our, our actually the high of the um, of yesterday was 39.96. We'll mark that down plus the high of the pre-market over at 38.85. We'll get those two levels there in case we decide to change direction here. But right now, the momentum is towards the downside. And as we move towards the downside, we do have our highs and lows for the last two trading. There's doing a pretty good job. I don't think you need to really add anything else at the moment uh, on Mara. Just going to take a quick look at Coin. Coin is another one that is also dropping. Um, so we'll be looking at that one as well. Sim similar, similar price action, almost identical. Uh, 182 in between the high and low of the pre-market right now. We can mark that there. Um, low of the pre-market at the moment down at 179.09. Uh, so we can uh, slam a level there as well. Very similar to Mara, guys. Towards the bottom, highs and lows for the last, uh, excuse me, these two trading days here creating the highs and lows for you. Do not really need to add anything else right now. So Coin and Mara, um, but Mara looking a little bit better this morning. All right, here's AMD. So AMD was up, um, now coming back down to the previous day close. 146.88 was the highest they got to this morning. So we'll put a level there. Then you have your previous day close pretty much basically to the penny on the low of the uh, pre-market there. Uh, towards the left, we do have our, our daily here which we're going to mark down. This is the close of yesterday, one four, the open of yesterday, 144.73. You can see that playing an important part on yesterday's breakout, right? So the high of day, uh, not the high of day, but yesterday's breakout here at the market open. You can see how nice that was. Good area of support before it started trending higher at 144.73. You do want to have that down. So that's what we have for AMD towards the bottom, highs and lows for the last two trading days as we are trying to stay in the green, but right now looking to head back and test that previous day close line looks like um, at the moment. Here's Tesla, high of the pre-market right now on Tesla, 265 on the dot. Towards the bottom, the low of the pre-market over at 262.55. And then below that previous day close, highs and lows for the last two trading days. As we move to the left, we're just going to pick off at least one or two levels towards the top in case we do decide to 
uh, stay in the green and continue higher. We do have 268.58. You got this area of just uh, so much congestion here, guys, with the levels. Look at this. Now, uh, where would the previous day close at? There's just so many levels here as far as resistance, and you do have that marked down already. So just be aware of that above that 268.58, if we do decide to get going, I, I, I highly doubt you will see a move like this unless the market is behind it. 273.62. Uh, it's a great day on the level. There is something in between here, though. I think it's worth marking. Um, yeah, right over here. This is a good one. 271.25. It's a lot of days slamming into that opening and closing right on this level. So you definitely want to have that uh, down there as well. So, yeah, we, we need some heavy news or market action to really get this going above that 262 into 268. But it's possible. We've seen Tesla do these big moves plenty of times in the past. You can see them all here. Um, we just need the volume and the momentum. Here is Apple. Apple, great day yesterday. Although it finished, uh, it wasn't a, didn't finish, um, you know, uh, like a crazy move up, but it did have a nice drop and it did have a great bounce right back to where it opened up, right? So um, a great action yesterday. This morning is not really doing a whole lot, hoping that we can get some action out of this. Low of the pre market is being set right now. New low is 193.50. So we'll put a level there. Then towards the top, we do have our high. From the last two trading days on here, creating that pre market high. So you're set there. Um, look at the bigger picture on the daily. Towards the top, we're going to mark down uh, 194.37. It's a good one. And then all the way up here, we have another minor area, not a big level. It's only a couple of days. I think one, two, and maybe these two here. 195.17 is the level that you have towards the top. So once you do that, I think you're pretty much set on Apple and you're surrounded by the highs and lows here of the last two trading days. Um, Clean Spark. Let's look at this one. This one has some good volume. Um, again, I'm not a big, big fan, but I do love this pre-market activity here. Um, I'm going to mark down the level of the, here at 112.55. The reason why, because you have a lot of support happening there. Even right now, we're trying to hold that 12.55. Our lower pre-market is a little bit lower, a couple of cents down at 12.38, but I think that 12.55 is worth noting uh as well um towards the top you do have in the pre-market 1287 we tested that a couple of times as well i think that's worth having in place also then once you once you look at the bigger picture on the daily highs and lows of the last two trading days pretty much got you covered here when it comes to a uh, clean spark so um the coin is another one you could look at you're set there baba not really in play but um we have it here as a possible and uh, I think we're pretty much set. Question, why not Rias as Pig Wrestler over on YouTube? I prefer Mara, man. Mara, I think, between Mara and Coin, they go back and forth. Um, Mara was horrible during this period here, right? If you guys remember that. And Coin was straight crushing it. I mean, they were getting the volume. They were getting the big moves. They were doing very, very well. Now, uh, Mara, if you, if you looked at Coin yesterday, the price action was a little bit weird. Like, it was... It was it was very stagnant, although it was moving higher. It was acting like it had a really big spread. So it was not a fluid price action at all, which has not been the case during this time here. Um, and then Mara was more fluid, was more clean. Uh, it's got the nice volume. So I, I think Mara is, is kind of uh, getting better price action uh, the last couple of days. So that's why I'm keeping Mara. Now, Riot, out of all of them, is usually the one that I don't like watching just because their price action seems to be... Uh, the, the worst out of these two right um and they usually get a little bit less volume today they got great volume 2.6 but mara has 7.2 right so i think today with the 2.6 maybe riot can trade a little bit cleaner but normally what you will see is mara with like a 2.1 million shares traded and then riot with like 500,000, right so typically i'm going to go with the with the bigger volume today though they got great volume i think today you can see some good action out of it so um that's just my take on it um all right, uh, perfect. I have not traded HUD before. I don't think I don't think many of us have. Usually, when Bitcoin is in play like this, um, again, you got Mary, you got Riot, you have a, a coin. Those are the three main ones that we look at. There are some other underlying ones that also move, but I, I think HUD I have never traded personally. Um, again, look at it today, right? Nine hundred thousand looks great, but once you look at Mara, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mara. Um, all right, excellent. What else, guys? Anything else, Peter? I don't have anything else. I've been looking around here and I can't really see anything of interest. It's uh, slow. Very, 
slow. It is, it is extremely slow. We don't want to be slow. It's our likes over on YouTube. So if you can help us get to 150, that would be amazing. We're at 107, which I am very happy with, by the way, given, given the type of day that it is, type of week that it is. I think our average this week has been lower than usual. We're not getting to our 150, 160, but that's okay. We'll hopefully come back to it after January. But if you can help us get there as close as possible, we'll let YouTube know that we, we don't suck anymore. It's just that people are just taking vacations. So um, <laughs> that helps. <laughs> All right. We don't want you to think like, oh, they got worse. They're not getting enough likes. You know, don't, don't, don't promote them anymore. Peter, Peter and Carlos. No, nope, we haven't got worse. We're as bad as we always were. So Yeah, we're the same bad we were before, before this go. week. Yep. All right. <laughs> Excellent, my friends. Um, we are all set here. Moderators list, non-existent. Oh, no, I had to scroll down. Okay, here it is. Um, Jared, Megan. Rafsila and Thor got their list ready to go. Uh, we'll bring it over and see what's uh, happening here. All right. And uh, let's take a look there. There we go. Bring this right over here. Excellent. Okay. So Jerry sound bites are available in chat. You can take a listen to those. Megan will be looking at Tesla and Mara. Great. Did we look at Tesla today? We did. We did. We have Tesla on here. 1.5 yeah. million. So that's good. Um, so Megan will be looking at those two, Tesla, possibly Tesla. Um, not that he watches that often. Uh, Thor, Tesla, Spy in the queues, Futures as well down here. His comments on YouTube, you can check. I'm um, not on YouTube. Uh, X, you can check those out there. Uh, Brian, Tesla, Mara, and the indexes. You know, we have um, a Spy and all this other good stuff that we can look at as well. Overall market. Uh, IPOs for today, NBBK uh, scheduled to open today. And Peter, you'll be looking at AMD, Apple, Tesla, secondary list, Mara and CLSK. Yeah, CleanSpark does look good. I'm actually going to um, move it up this morning. Uh, it might be our sleeper for today. Normally, we'll, we will dismiss this one, but today it does look good. So I'm going to move that up as well. Make a little adjustment there. And yeah, we got CleanSpark here. Great, great pre-market action today. 2.1 million shares traded. So that's looking nice. Um, the middle stack here, AMD, Tesla, and Apple are really our usual suspects. They're they're not heavily in play. We're just keeping them an eye on this because we do have the space to do so uh, to see if they get the volume. We can get some access. So again, on these three here, this middle middle session section here, uh, it, be patient with this, right? They're not they're not really in play. The what's in play here today that I'm going to have front and center is Mara and CLSK. They are actually in play. They're moving here in the pre market with some good volume. These three here are, are really just possibles uh, to fill in the, the watch list this morning. Um, all right, uh, Maroon, you haven't even gotten out of bed. Well, looking at this list, you could stay right there. I wouldn't move. <laughs> you could stay right there. Um, all right, excellent. Friends, we are all set. Waiting for any more other moderators to throw their list out. But if not, we are good to go. Peter, um, anything we might have missed? If not, we are, we are set. Continue to be careful, everybody. Trade smart, and uh, we'll see out this year. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, I miss you. Still in PJs. I I'm sure it's a lot of people in PJs watching this show. It is early, especially if you're in California. Is Megan still in PJs? Megan, do you dress up for the trading open at this time? We know Brian does, and we know Brian doesn't even put a shirt. That's why he doesn't turn on the camera early. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Take care, guys. Stay safe. We will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.